Okay, this video is for Spiegel. Your question is how do I improve my, my training regimen? So on every single day that you have, that you mentioned is a rest day or a practice day, even on your rest days, you could do little things that'll add up over time to really help your game. Um, most especially doing some light juggling on rest or recovery days or even practice days, right? It looks like you're doing zero. It looks like you're doing zero, zero training on days that you're practicing. So you said uh, Thursdays and Fridays, as well as I believe Monday's your rest day, Tuesday's workout, Thursday's and Friday's training, Saturday and Sunday's also training. Every single one of those days you should be getting, if you're in the prime of your soccer career or soccer is a huge part of your life, to get a thousand touches on the ball with even a small size one ball or a tennis ball. And I'm not saying this to, to take away from your training, but would be a, a, a warm up, right? A thousand touches on the ball, that's a juggling warm up. So I would, I would start going to practice a little bit earlier just to get a thousand touch warm up. And that way when you step on the field, you're gonna be sharper than either your competition or anyone on your team just by this consistent habit of getting more touches on the ball. The second thing you also wanna keep in mind is uh, every time you're, you talk about, you use the word uh, light stretching, if you check out Dick Hartzell, H-A-R-T-Z-E-L, and just type in Hartzell, band, band, uh, lower band, I'm sorry, lower body flexibility or uh, ankle ankle injury prevention, right? This is, gonna, this is an old school guy, they call him the band man, and I will be very surprised if you're doing band stretching. This is gonna take your stretching to the next level, right? Because muscles, I'm sorry, joints, tendons, and ligaments get poor blood flow, which means you need high repetitions to pump blood into those areas, which means that with a small investment of 10 bucks for a loop resistance band, you can injury proof your body and have your body feeling um, being able to prevent injuries and, and therefore training smarter and uh, not taking any days off for training, right? So replace all the time that you say stretching with Dick Hartzell's band stretching, lower body, upper body traction, and you're going to grow your game faster, right? It's gonna increase the tra trajectory of your training. The third thing you wanna keep in mind is all the time you're talking about these, these workouts at the gym, Right, you want to spend major time on major things. If you're spending, if you're, if you haven't even gotten a thousand touches on the ball, and you're you're spending your time going to the gym to do um, some strength work, I, I would only do that if you've put in the work with the ball. Because if your touch is poor on the on the field, it doesn't matter how hard you run or how how right how hard you're running on the field. You want to work smart and not hard, right? Construction, that's hard work. But if you keeping the ball safe and and connecting passes on the field, keeping the ball, it's important to have a first touch. So just the your workouts, they look fine, but just keep in mind that you gotta take care of the ball first, which means um, make sure you're prioritizing your ball work, in my opinion, before going somewhere to spend time working out which is going to have to right you get sore from a workout which is going to increase your recovery time which may take away from your true goal of playing well on the field right so just you got to think about think smart you only have a few hours in the day if i had to choose between a workout just working out or spending spending time dribbling passing shooting with the ball juggling i'd spend that time juggling passing shooting preferably in my backyard, so you're not wasting any time. And with a pull-up bar at home, some bands, and maybe an RMT rope, you could get, and you know, maybe some balance tools, you could get a, you could get an excellent workout in the comfort of your own home, you know, or before a practice training session, then you could possibly get at a gym with just moving some weights around. So you gotta be smart with your training. Um, Besides that, I would add a cool down. I would add ROKP, Ben Patrick's, right? 
at the end of all your practices and games and personal training and your workouts, I would just add um, five minutes walking backwards on a treadmill or walking the full length of a soccer field there and back backwards just to help your body cool down if you're not doing that already. So um, good luck with training. Hope some of these ideas help and uh, reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.